Hey everybody, it's Song here. In this video, I will show you how I made this layout. This layout is created for CSI, which is Color Stories and Inspirations. They are a challenge website, which you use your mood board and create beautiful projects based on the mood boards. So this month, Scrub Facts and Fly Unicorn are sponsoring the challenges. That's why I'm doing this guest detective work. They call it guest design team, guest detective. They're design team detectives. I think it's really fun. So anyways, the inspiration here is obviously from their mood board. The main colors are what I think pink, light blue, and light yellow, or more a vibrant yellow. So my main goal is to have each color stays in their own column, but I will still have the colors kind of go into each other a little bit, just so that it doesn't have those harsh color block look. Now color block looks is absolutely amazing, but it's not what I'm going for on this layout. I'm just ripping this paper into different pieces and try to create a more visually pleasant um, collaged piece from this paper. I could just cut them, but I love the tear, the torn, and the incomplete and this distressed look. And this is my one of my favorite mixed media type of stamp from Prima. Um, it's those beautiful rings that you know it's really annoying to create, and I think it's just so much easier to stamp them on. And the stamp I'm using right now is the washi tape stamp from Kaiser Craft. I got it from Fly Unicorn a while back and I really love those stamps. I'm stamping them on a sheet of transparency and the ink I'm using it stays on the white ink. Now I think it's the only ink that will do well on transparencies. Other type of ink just don't work as well. So that's why I'm using it. So I'm just going to cut those little washi tape strips out and I will color on the opposite side of where I stamped using alcohol markers. The alcohol markers I'm using are the Prima Palette alcohol markers. If you have not watched my um, Prima Palette Fun Techniques video, go ahead and check it out. I will list that in the description box because it's so much fun. It, I love these markers. The colors are vibrant and they are amazing. So I come up with some really fun techniques for you to try out. But of course, all those techniques works with every type of alcohol markers. So if you don't have Prima markers but you have other type of them, go ahead and try them out because it's really a lot of fun to do. The pens I'm using are Sakura's Souffle pen. They dry with raised and three-dimensional effect, which I think is really, really interesting. I bought it for my planner and I think it works just perfectly well on basically any project that you do. Now these dots, you'll see them so much better after the, the ink is dried because right now they're wet and they are kind of blended in with everything and they don't have those raised effect yet. But you'll see the pink dots, especially the pink ones, show up better and better and better. Now later on, I will be painting those chipboard embellishment into white color. All of them are from scrap bags. Now you can see two of them are quite intricate and detailed. So for those detailed embellishment or detailed chipboard embellishment like that, it is actually easier for you to emboss them into whatever color you wish instead of coloring them white. Now I am coloring them white because I know that later on, I will be putting paints on top of them to color them afterwards but if you don't want to if you don't care about coloring them afterwards by all means go ahead and emboss them and then after i paint them white all it is is just decorating and embellishing so i will turn up the music and hope you'll enjoy the whole process
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up or comment and I'll talk to you later. Bye!